Hi, I'm Mike Heddle, Team Leader and Principal Broker at Royal Page State Realty. I'm an investment real estate broker and I specialize in guiding investors to success in investing in residential real estate. If you're considering becoming a successful real estate investor, there are certain things you must know. The first thing you want to determine is real estate right for you. And some points to consider when analyzing this type of investment will be things like how much capital do you have to invest? Often a secondary property would require 20% deposit and that can be quite a significant investment. Something else you should consider is how involved do you want to be in the investment? Do you want to hire a property manager or do you want to be self-managing the property? And like all great investments, you should be considering your exit strategy, the length of time that you want to be spending within that asset class. It's really important to know your rights and responsibilities as a landlord. Each municipality and each province will have different legislation that ensures both the tenant is protected and that you are protected. But it's important to align yourself with the right professional that understands the nuances of each municipal and provincial guidelines. It's not just about finding the right property, it's about finding the right market. As a successful real estate investor, investors often look to invest where returns are best. But you should be considering significant underlying economic factors. Things like average income, is it on the rise or is it on the fall? Net migration, are more people moving into a community or moving out? Is there a significant investment in infrastructure such as LRT or transit? Those all will contribute to long-term success within your investment. Now, when it comes to assessing risk, like all investment, the risk in real estate is often presented by things like the age of the property. Is it going to require significant capital improvement in the short term? Or is it a brand new build that should defer replacement on systems like windows and furnaces? The second risk component would be the tenant profile. Whether it's a student rental, would you be considering some government subsidized rental? Or is it a single family type of property that you're going to be investing? Finally, you want to consider the distance and the location of that investment property. Are you going to invest in a community that you know and understand? that you can drive by and perhaps even self-manage? Or are you going to invest in a region that would require property managers and other professionals to ensure success? Once you've determined the right market, asset class, and your strategy to set you up for success, it's really important to analyze this investment, treat it as a business, and look at five key fundamentals. The first is cash flow. The property should be bringing in more rental income than the expenses. And those expenses would include things like property taxes, condominium fees, or any other utilities. The second fundamental is principal recapture. Most investors will use a mortgage or borrow or put financing up on a property, which would require a mortgage payment. And part of that mortgage payment is going to interest. The other portion is going to repaying that principal over time and that needs to be considered as a part of the investment. The third fundamental I'd like to break into two, active appreciation. We have many investors that force appreciation in properties by renovating a kitchen or renovating a bathroom and increasing the value of the property. And the second component of that appreciation would be passive appreciation. Historically, real estate tends to appreciate over the long time horizon. The fifth fundamental is tax benefits. Now it's really important to align yourself with the right dream team. And by dream team, I mean you need the right real estate broker that specializes in investment real estate. Your mortgage broker should understand your long-term objectives and goals so that they can put the right type of product in place for you if you're looking to grow a portfolio. And of course, your lawyer should understand things like the Residential Tenancy Act and what it means to be working with tenants. We've only scratched the surface on how to be a successful real estate investor. If you're looking to learn more and excited to start investing in real estate, check out our investors report. We can't wait for you to reach out to one of our specialists in your market.